got this opportunity to get a free product and kind of do a video on it for you guys and to see if it's actually worth you purchasing. So we're gonna try this out and see if the instructions are easy to read, but what are we gonna be installing today? Well, it is this Smart AI box. So let's unwrap it and see what's inside the box and then we'll see how hard is it to install on our Chevy Colorado. Here is the box itself. As you can see, it's by Smart AI and it is a wireless Android Auto box. If you are familiar with the Chevy Colorado, you know that it does not come with wireless Android Auto until the 2023 model year. So let's open this guy up. Here is the Smart AI box, how it comes. As you can see, it's very small, so it shouldn't take up too much room. If you look on the back, it is compatible with Android and with Apple CarPlay, so that's pretty cool. So let's scoot this guy open. So it comes with this little black box, let's see here. So this is what the Smart AI One box looks like. So nice and black, so it's not gonna be something that's uh, drawing your eye inside the truck, so nice and subtle. So let's pull it out of there. And so here is the box itself. As you can see here, it's got it looks like a little slot there. And then here's your connection point. And then on the back. So it's pretty thin. I wouldn't, I'm not sure how thin it actually is, but but there it is. But what else is in the box? So if you pull this up here, you can get to everything underneath. And it looks like it comes with the two different sets of cords. And one is a USB-C to a USB-C, and one has your regular USB with your USB-C connection on it. And then you also get some instructions. So let's find out, let's go out into the, the ZR2 and go find out how hard this specific guy is to install. I'm gonna do it in real time so you can see if there are any issues installing it. We're gonna follow the instructions and hopefully it goes well. Okay, so now we have the smart AI box in here. And according to the instructions, which they have a lot of instructions on this page, so there's a ton of things you can do with this, we are going to actually plug it in. So that's the first step. So I'm gonna take this connector and I'm going to plug it in to the truck and then I'm going to connect it via this port here. This port here is an expansion drive for an SD card. So if you want to expand its memory, you can. Step two is to Click on the screen to the original Carface inter interface, then enter the product's Android system. So I'm gonna go home. Oh, here we go. Get zoomed in on that. So we're gonna say continue. Searching for phones. This is a smart AI box. Let's see what it does. Powered by Android. Okay, so the next thing it says to do, apparently restart screen calibration. Okay. Android Auto, nope. Okay, let's, um, let's turn off the screen. Let's try this again. It's on. Okay, it's free. There it goes. Because the goal is to click on the settings icon. Okay, so settings. Come on, settings. So then, let's go to Bluetooth. We're going to try to connect the phone to that. So I have, um, I have an Android Auto, uh, so an Android, so this is an S20, so it should work. So it's found it. So there you go, I'm going to click Smart AI Box. It's giving me its code. Say pair. Okay, it's connected. Next part of this um, is to download this app on the phone. So we've got it connected, but to do the screen mirroring, you've got to download this app. So I'm going to go find that quick on the Play Store. 
So now I've downloaded the app and it's got a bunch of questions it asks you. So we're going to try to connect it to the device and see if that works. So we're going to go with wireless. Um, it's finding my printer. <laughs> Let's have it refresh. Still finding the printers. Who knew the printers could reach out this far? I didn't know. Eventually. Get this app to work that we downloaded, which is called Carbit Link. You have to enable your Wi Fi hotspot on your phone, or you have to be close enough to get your house Wi Fi. So, since the shop is a little bit far from the house, we, we're connected using the phone mobile hotspot. And so now we can continue the rest of the directions, which is to click on the EasyCon app interface. So, let's go find that. Let's bring it back. So it's this one. So it's pulling that up. It's connecting. Okay, so now it's asking me on my phone. So you can kind of see that. So yes, I want to connect. So it should, so we got the phone. And so now it should, according to this, um, so now it, it's connected, so it should connect via Bluetooth, which I've already done. So um, if you haven't done Bluetooth before, then then this might be a little advanced for you. But now I have, at least I got Google Maps. So apparently I've got to, so I've, get, I've got permission. So some of this is, is you have to, do a bunch of it on the phone um, and enable its permissions. So let's go to all apps. So this is what's included on it. Um, I'm gonna have to see if we can get Gaia on here because that's the one that we use the most of the time when we're off-road. And honestly, that's the 90% of the time what I would be more interested in. So if we can add. See, we go to Play Store, but we can add it. We've tried this numerous, a couple different apps. So we looked for Gaia, and it's not on here. Now we've tried, if you can see up there, Onyx Off-Road. Onyx Off-Road app. We've tried it in different ways, and as you can see here on this version of Play Store, you don't get the Off-Road apps. Like here, I'll, I'll do Gaia really quick, just so you guys can, can see it as we type it. Buy a GPS app. And it should show up. Now I'm going to show you what the phone play store looks like so you can see the difference because I, it's not pulling up everything. There's, because this, why would I get plant, why would I need plant identification on here? I wouldn't. Like, that one? That's I don't, GPS that's Guru there. Maps. That's no, not, Guru. yeah, it's not Gaia. Tiny yeah, so see here, I'm ty typing in Gaia GPS. So I'm going to click on that. And look, it's right there right there same icon I already have this downloaded as you can see it's this is the one that we we like to use when we go off-roading because I map stuff on that um, you could put onyx in here and I bet you it's gonna pop right up onyx off-road look it's right there so I don't know what's going on here but I'm gonna see if I can get it to actually mirror my phone it's a phone Let's see I'm gonna say I want to say mirror Start now. Okay, well maybe that's what we need to do. So we click mirror. Oh, but that's so tiny. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're in business, I think. If we scroll out. I know, my map is a little bit atrocious, but, but if you scroll out, you're able to see that. Okay, let's go. So I got to keep the phone turned. Otherwise, it doesn't fill up the whole screen. So we want to do the mirror function. So I'm going to get back into it. Or to disconnect. Okay, I'm going to show you what I did. So here on the phone, if I click this and say mirror, it's going to mirror my, my, my desk, my phone. So but I can't flip it. So my phone is turned, but it's not flipping until I get into an app. 
But on the phone, when you're in the app, it looks like I'm actually able to get to my applications that I have on my phone. And I bet you I can add Gaia from here. So let's go find it. Added a bunch of apps to the phone version, as you can see there. It's kind of hard to see. So we're going to see if that actually translates up into this. So we're going to click on it. It's connecting. Come on, I have high hopes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did it work? Ha ha, we got it. Look, there we go. Please operate on phone. Start now. So you still have to use the phone interface, so, but you can at least get to it on there. So that is helpful. I figured something out, and I think that this is going to be super helpful. So I'm going to get out of this. So on this, this is your main page. And so I think the thing is, I figured out if you hit speed play, that's going to be like your regular Android auto interface. So we actually have Gaia right there. Showing all of our glorious pins. It is a little touchy, but that functions just like it would be if the phone was plugged into the Chevy. So we are going to try this on a trip and get back to you. got back from our trip from using the smart AI box and honestly it was really nice to have something that was wireless especially for off-road when I wanted to get in and out and still be able to use my phone for pictures and everything it was nice to be able to not have to unplug it and then plug it back in for our map function with Gaia as far as using it for other things besides Gaia for music it did really great streaming through that Bluetooth and honestly, if you're looking for a wireless CarPlay or Apple or Android Auto option, the Smart AI box is pretty slick. It doesn't take up too much room in the truck. And honestly, it fits right into the glove box for when we're not using it. So it's nice and protected and not in the way. Looking for a product like that, I would highly recommend that you do check out the smart AI box and we will put a link down in the description and we will hopefully be using it on an upcoming truck here soon, but bye for now.